Hi everybody, this is Chris from StampingBugsCards.com and this is the project that I have for you today. These are all supplies from the new holiday catalog 2016 and this catalog is absolutely awesome. I'll start by showing you the supplies that we're going to use. We're going to use the Christmas Pines bundle and if you buy them together you will get 10% off which is a great deal. We're also going to use Seasonal Bells stamp set and this also comes in a bundle with a punch that's a bell shape. We're going to use the Happy Christmas. We're also going to use one of my favorite new things from the holiday catalog and this is the cable knit embossing folder and it's very thick which helps it so that you can get a really deep impression and I will show you how this works. The supplies we're going to need are a piece of Whisper White that is 3 and 3 quarter by 5, uh, Espresso 4 by 5 and a quarter, our card base Real Red and it is four and a quarter by eleven and it's scored at five and a half and then for the inside we're going to have a piece of early espresso four by five and a quarter and whisper white three and seven eighths by five and one eighths we're also going to use scraps of three different greens and I used um, for the pine branches I used garden green Old Olive, Pear Pizzazz, and then for the bows I used Real Red, and for the pine cones I used Early Espresso and Soft Suede. So, first I want to show you how to use that new embossing folder because there is a trick to it. So, I have the new Big Shot platform which does not have any tabs. It comes with this platform and it comes with this thin die adapter and so there's no more um, tabs getting in the way or flipping tabs. It's really nice. We don't need the thin, thin die adapter for this embossing folder and we do not need a bottom base plate or cutting plate, just one for the top. And the trick to this is to use some water and I just have a little spray bottle here that I'm going to use and I'll spritz it off camera. And then you just put it in your embossing folder, get it lined up where you want it. Put your top plate on. Remember we don't have a bottom plate and we roll it through. And this is what we get. This beautiful deep impression. And what the water does is it helps it to not um, crack because it is so deep of an impression. It's just beautiful. So that's how you use that. Now let's start assembling our card. And I'm going to bring, I've already cut out to save time because you really don't need to see me cutting um, some pine branches and I put a glue dot here and one right below it and that's all the gluing I put on it and I just kind of laid it down there, pushed it on then I took one that was a different color for a little bit of dimension and then on this side I took a lighter color just kind of fanned it out a little bit and then over here I took one of the darker ones and at the top I kind of went straighter with them just like that 
Then for my pine cones, I used the early espresso for the back, and I used the soft suede on top, and I thought it gave it a really nice look. And I have dimensionals on these. And they're going to go right up here. Then I cut out a red bow, the, the larger, there's two bows in the set, I cut out the larger one and then I put um, cut dimensionals up in very thin pieces and put them on the back of the bow. And I just laid that right down between. And of course we need some bling on there. I'll use a medium one on the bow. And then I stamped the Happy Christmas and I actually fussy cut it out because I like the way it looked better than using the um, thinlet that comes with it. And it only takes a second to cut, so that's why I did that. And that goes across here. And we add some more bling to that. And that's actually all of that for the top. So we can start layering our cardstock now. I love my mono glue, the green glue mainly because I can move my layers around before they're stuck for good. So there's the front of our card, and then for the inside, I stamped the sentiment in real red. And then I stamped a pine branch with the pair of pizzazz. And then to finish the inside, I cut out one of the smaller bows and I'm just going to add some little bit of glue to this. And place that right up there. And we need another rhinestone, of course, right there. And then this goes on our soft suede. It's always nice to finish the inside of your card. It looks so much more professional and just makes it look finished.
This would eat, be an easy card to duplicate because and make lots of. Because you can cut all, all your pieces and then assemble them really quickly. And that's it for our card. And here's the other one. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.